knows more about our shopping habits than we do. It's like he can see us <laughs> naked. And he, <laughs> you walk into the supermarket, and Phil knows exactly what you're going to do and how that market is, is structured to feed into your preferences. What are some of the highlights of that? Well, just imagine when you go into a store, the first thing that we walk into is the produce department. It's aromatherapy, beautiful <laughs> colors, aromas. It puts us in a great mood to shop. We're going to spend more time there, more money there. One of the things that we always suggest is go to the center of the store first. All those unemotional boxes and jars and cans, and, and you're probably not going to be influenced. Also, you know, what you've got to do is always have that shopping list. Know what you're going to buy before you get there, and you're going to have a smarter shopping experience. Listen, look. You know, when you walk into a store, Muzak is playing. But think about the Muzak, because it's programmed like a radio station. Sometimes in the morning, it's faster music to get you out faster. On the weekend, it's even faster, because there's more people there. And in the afternoon, it's Barry Manilow. So you go in, and you buy the wine and the steak for dinner that evening. All right, so there are a lot of things that are sort of working against us. Are any of these forces working for us? And Absolutely. I mean, if you take a look, and we talked about this before, um, what's gone on in the supermarket world over the past three or four years, we've got checkouts with no candy in them. Mm -hmm. Number one, we have registered dietitians in supermarkets, like ShopRite Supermarkets has one in practically every store. hy V has it in every store. So supermarkets want us to eat healthier, even though they've got to sell everything that's on the shelves, and they want to. Uh, the reality is that they know that if they um, have customers who die early, of diabetes or heart disease, nobody's going to be there to shop. So supermarkets want to build a relationship. One of the reasons for that is over the past 10 years, they've lost a lot of money, 15% market share to drug chains who are now 50% food, mm -hmm. to Trader Joe's, to fresh format stores, to you know Sam's Club, to all these people. So the supermarket has finally figured out, I've got to build a relationship with you as a shopper, mm -hmm. and there's no, nothing stronger as a relationship than keeping you healthy.